so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Hi, and I'm Mika. Yeah, today we're at Ranch at the Pier. In Malibu, California. <laughs> yeah, here they have a lot of fruits and vegetables. Yeah, look at, oh, these look really yummy. Yeah, look, a really small watermelon. Yep, and here's a really small lemon. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Ooh, and some really spicy peppers. <laughs> Very hot. <laughs> Oh. Wow, all of this produce is making me a little hungry. Yeah, me too. Oh, look! Popsicles! Yummy! Whoa! Mika! Hey! Whoa! Hey, Julia! Hi, Blippi. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you! Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> so what's Mom and Pop Shop? So we sell all natural popsicles made with fresh fruits and vegetables. Ooh, that sounds good. They are. Do you want to try one? <laughs> yes, yeah. please! Oh no, I'm so sorry we just ran out. They're so popular today. Oh. Hmm. What do we do now? Let me think. I got an idea. How about we go to the ranch and pick fresh fruits and vegetables and you guys make your own popsicle. That's a good idea. Yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Great, I'll meet you up there. Okay. Let's go. You made it. Yeah. Yes, too. This is a beautiful ranch. Isn't it? It's remarkable. Did you know that they rescued 150 animals and it's environmentally friendly? Wow. Oh, 150 animals? That's a lot of animals. Yeah, it sure is. Yep. What does environmentally friendly mean? Well, nothing gets wasted at the ranch. So all of the vegetables that get sold at the pier, if there's any left over, they feed them to the animals and then the animals nutrients the soil and then the plants grow from the soil. Wow, cool. Very cool. Wait, so this ranch has fruits and vegetables? Hey, that's what we can use for the popsicles, right? Absolutely. So I have some baskets here where you could explore the ranch and get some fruits and vegetables okay. for your popsicles. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> but do you know who else loves vegetables? Who? The horses. What? Horses? Oh, yeah, go ahead and feed some horses while you're here. We can oh. feed some horses? That's so fun. <laughs> All right, yes. see you later. See you Thanks, Julia. Woo! Wow. I'm so excited to feed the animals. Me too. All Look right. At those beautiful horses. Wow. Hello, friend. How are you? My name's Flippy. Would you like an apple? Ooh, there a nice go. and healthy snack. All right, there you go. There's one behind you Ooh, too, there Flippy. You go. Whoa! <laughs> Look. Wow. Whoa. Do you like carrots? Ooh. Yeah, there you go. I think that's a yes. <laughs> wow. Hey, Mika, look! Wow. They even have alpacas! Hey! Oh, they're Whoa. so cute! Whoa. <laughs> oh, there you go. Wow. Are those carrots yummy? Whoa. Wow, they're such healthy eaters! <laughs> yeah. Ooh. There you go. Oh, you should Still probably chewing. chew and then swallow all your food before the next <laughs> bite. <laughs> Yummy? Yeah. I think so. I guess so. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun feeding those animals. Yeah. <laughs> now I think we can find some ingredients to make popsicles. Oh, yeah. Fruits and vegetables. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Libby, what? I have a great idea. What, Mika? What if we made popsicles for each other? <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, I can pick out ingredients that I know you'll like. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll pick out ingredients that you will probably like. Oh, okay, All let's right. do it. See you soon. All right. <laughs> See you later, horsey. <laughs> wow, look how beautiful this ranch is. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this plant. This is rosemary. Ah, 
and it smells so good. Well, and rosemary is actually edible, so that means you can eat it. But rosemary, I don't think would taste very good in a popsicle, so I'm not gonna pick it. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Whoa, a lemon tree. Cool, come on. Whoa, look at these lemons. Yeah, these are just like the ones that Mika saw at the pier. Oh, maybe I should pick one. And just maybe I'll add it to the popsicle. Oh, all right, let's see. Give it a little tug. Whoa, look at it. It's so cute and small. <laughs> and these are Meyer lemons. Yeah, they have a little bit of sweetness to them. Okay, I'll put that one right there. And then, uh, let's see. How about this one? Right there. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I love this beautiful garden. Look at all of these plants and trees. Hmm. I wonder if I can find a fruit tree so I can pick some fruit for a popsicle for Blippi. Wait a second. Here's one right here. This is a strawberry guava tree. There's different kinds of guava, but this is strawberry guava, which is really yummy. Take a look. See, it's round and kind of red. Ooh, it's so yummy. This will be the perfect ingredient for a popsicle for Blippi. Oh, I can't wait to find more fruit and vegetables. Let's go. garden. It's so amazing. Oh, and do you see this net up here and on the sides? Yeah, that keeps all the critters and the birds from eating all this delicious food. Whoa, and look at this. Do you know what this is? This is spinach. And it's so good for you. Hey, maybe this would be really good in a popsicle. Yeah, spinach a lot of times is inside salads, yummy stuff like that. But popsicles also can have spinach in it. That is so cool. All right, that's probably enough. Let's see what else is around here. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is kale. Ooh, have you ever had a kale chip before? Yeah, you just take these leaves. Yeah, see that? That's a kale leaf and then you put it in the oven. Whoa, and then it gets all crunchy. It's like a normal chip, but with kale. It's so healthy and so yummy. Hey, I bet this popsicle is gonna be the color green. Yeah, that's what we should shoot for. So then she'll have a nice, healthy, yummy popsicle. All right, one more leaf. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> wow, look at this fabulous garden. We are going to find some really good ingredients for Blippi's popsicle. Hmm. Hey, these are beet plants. Beets are really cool because they're super healthy and they're yummy and they're really good for you. They're especially good for your heart. And they're a bright pinkish reddish color that will look really good in a popsicle. Now they're root vegetables, so they're underground. You have to hold on to the leaves and pull to get them out. <sighs> hey, look at that. A nice yummy beet for Blippi's popsicle. Hmm. There's so many different plants here and really cool that you can eat all of them. Like this little carrot. Ha. <gasps> hmm. Oh, look, one of my favorite fruits of all time, strawberries. See if I can find one so I can show you. Ah, here we go. A nice, delicious red strawberry. Strawberries are really popular flavor of popsicles and ice cream because they're really, really sweet. Mm, I should probably make sure that this is sweet enough for a popsicle. Mmm, it's perfect. Let's pick some for Blippi. <laughs> Ooh, 
Here's a good one. Oh, this is a really good one. Oh, this will be so yummy in the popsicles. Let's go make some yummy treats. Hey, Julia, look at what I got. Yeah, um, tell me all about it. Well, I got some spinach. Perfect. Mm. <laughs> I have some kale. Yeah. And I got a lemon. Oh, what a cute lemon. <laughs> yeah, I really want to make Mika a green popsicle. That sounds amazing. There's not that many green popsicles out there, so I think you're onto something. Yeah. Here, let's get you an apron first. Oh, cool. Yeah. Check out my apron. Whoa, mom and pop shop. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> do you know any recipes we can do with a green popsicle? I do. I have one in mind. I don't think we need the lemon quite yet. Okay. But. I think we could use some green apples. Ooh, yum! Can I see? Yeah. Oh, check it out. Yeah, a green apple. Yeah, and do you know the other color of apples? Yeah, red. <laughs> cool. Awesome. And some green grapes. Whoa, green grapes. So yummy. <laughs> All right. And to add a little bit more sweetness, mm -hmm. I'm going to say a ripe banana. Ooh, a ripe banana. But wait a second. It's brown. Yeah, that means it's super sweet. And oh. that's what you want in a popsicle. Oh, cool. So if your banana has a little bit of brown on it, that's okay. It's just gonna be more sweet and yummy. <laughs> yep. All I right. think it's awesome that you wanna do vegetables in your popsicle. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the blender. Okay. And then we could just put all the fruits and vegetables in there, just throw them all in. It's all a right. very powerful blender. <laughs> cool. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's it. And then I'm gonna add some liquid. So anytime you use a blender, you need some liquid. Okay. Or else it's not gonna blend properly. Okay. All right, and what kind of liquid is that? I have some organic apple juice here. Ooh, yum! <laughs> All, All right. right. So excited. I wonder if these are actually gonna be green. <laughs> All right. And it's gonna be pretty loud, so are you ready? All right, I'm All right. ready. Three, two, one. It's done. Wow, it does look green. All right. Mika's gonna love it. Yeah. Oh, do you smell that? Mmm. Mm. It smells so sweet. Yeah. All right, okay. so now we're gonna put the mixture in this pitcher so it's easier to pour in the molds. Okay. Wow, check it out. Oh, yummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And here are our molds. Oh, the molds. Yeah, I remember these molds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's what we use in our kitchen when we have our big machine. Yeah. But today we're just making some at home pops. So we're using oh. our nifty molds for at home. Oh, cool. At home pops. Here we go. Hey, do you want to count how many popsicles we can make with this with me? Mm -hmm. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. That's a lot of popsicles. All right, and then we just pour it in there? Yep. Would you like to do it or sure. me? All right. I'll, I'll do five and you do five. How okay. That sound? Okay. Can we get a little foamy? That's okay. Yeah. Now I will pour five as well. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Perfect. He's gonna be so excited to have such nutritious pops. Yeah. Okay, and that's the lid? That's the lid we put on it, and then we just put some sticks on it. Yeah, the sticks. Cool. All right, so every single one of these, you mm -hmm. put a stick in? Yep. Okay. And the great go. part is when you're done with your pop school, you could keep your sticks and maybe make a birdhouse or Whoa. any type of crafting. Yeah, or a marble machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. So is it ready? That's all ready. Take it to the freezer. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Julia. Hi, Mika. Welcome Hi. to the kitchen. Oh, thank you so much. So Ooh. What did you find? I have some really yummy ingredients for Blippi's Popsicle. Yeah. I picked some strawberries. Perfect. And I have some guava. Oh, how cute. <laughs> and I have beets. Beets. Yep, that's a very interesting ingredient. What do you think you're gonna make? Beats me. Good one. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought all of these ingredients would look really cool. Mm -hmm. They could be a bright red or pink popsicle in the end. Yeah, they're gonna look amazing. So beets are very 
interesting ingredient. So I think we're gonna have to make an original here. Okay. So first ever popsicle beet. Ooh, cool. So let's get your apron first. Okay, thank you. And let's just start cutting them open. Okay. I think what we're gonna need to do is use our juicer for this recipe. Oh, a juicer. So have you ever seen inside of a beet? Um, I think so. Yeah? Let's see. It's a root vegetable. Yeah, I love that color. Look at that. Go ahead and smell it. Check it out. It's really cool. Mmm, it smells kind of earthy, mm -hmm. but also kind of sweet. Yeah, it's mm. gonna juice real well. So, we're just gonna turn it on. And you could throw the fruit inside. Okay. You see some like blades spinning there in the middle. Yeah. The blades move on the middle and just kind of crush everything and, and there's a sieve so it keeps um, all of the fibers inside. Whoa, look! You can see it's pushing all of the juice out of the berries right into the pitcher. That's so cool! And let's see what happens when we add the beets. Whoa! It smells yummy. Thank you. Okay. There go the beets. Look at how dark it turns. Yeah. What a pretty color. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. I can smell it already. Yes, it does. And last but not least, we have our guava. Guava. And we can just toss the whole thing in there. Wow. Okay. There it goes. Ooh, you, you hear that? The <laughs> Whoa. This is going to be yummy. Yeah. Whoa, that's a lot of juice. Mm hmm. Now it's time for the molds. All right, they're right here. Wow. So these are the molds we use at home. It's a lot of popsicles. Yeah, <laughs> Lippy's gonna love it. Oh yeah. Okay, can I pour? Go okay. ahead. Okay. Try it out. All right, might get messy. That's all of the fun. Okay. Now to the freezer. And once they're done freezing, you know what we could use? We use compostable packaging. What does that so mean? These bags are compostable. So here at the ranch, you know, everything's sustainable. We don't want to leave any trash behind. So these break down easily in the trash. That's awesome. Yeah. You are being so good to the earth. <laughs> we tried to. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put these in the freezer. Thanks, Julia, for good your luck. help. All right. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, wasn't that fun, Mika? Yeah, that was awesome! Yeah, I'm so excited to show you the popsicle I made for you. I'm excited to show you the popsicle I made for you. Oh, all right! Let's see! Here we go! Ooh, Flippy! Whoa! Whoa! Wow. Cool color! Yeah, I really like that green! Yeah, what's in yours? Well, I made a popsicle for you from Beast guava, and strawberries. Ooh, yum. Yep. Well, I added spinach, Ooh. kale, apples, <laughs> grapes, what? and bananas. Wow, <laughs> that sounds yummy. Yeah, I bet you'll love it. Yep, let's yep. try it. All Here right. Here we go. Here you go. Thank you, Blippi. You're welcome. All right, let's see. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> That's really yummy. Yum! Good mm. job, Mika! Yeah, you too! Wow. Thank you so much! Thank you so much! <laughs> wow! Wasn't that so much fun making popsicles with the mom and pop shop? Yeah, at Ranch at the Pier! Yeah! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Yep! Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I! Blippi! <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Julia. See ya, Julia. Bye, Lippy. Bye, Mika. Thanks for coming. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today we are at Southern Hill Farms in Claremont, Florida. This farm is so cool because they grow flowers and they grow fruit. So today, I want to pick some blueberries, make blueberry lemonade, and find some beautiful sunflowers. I love sunflowers because they're yellow, one of my favorite colors. Come with me. Whoa, cool! These are buckets. 
buckets that you can use to collect the blueberries in once they're picked. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, come down here, look at this. <laughs> Have you ever seen sand on a farm before? <laughs> yeah, you might not expect sand at a farm. But this sand that's really soft and fine, it's called sugar sand. And it's really helpful for the blueberries. With this sand, the water can drain quickly, which is super important because blueberries do not grow in a lot of water. So this sand's really fun to play with and touch, but it's really important for the blueberries. So I'll just leave that there. <laughs> do you wanna pick blueberries with me? Let's go. Take a look at this. It's a blueberry bush or a shrub. Here, come a little closer. See, there's oh, a stem and the leaves. And look, the fruit, the best part. <laughs> so see how some of these berries, they're different colors. There's kind of a purple, a blue and a green. Do you know which berry is ripe? <laughs> That's right, this one, the blue one. Those are the ones that you wanna pick. And ripe means that it's fully grown and ready to eat. <laughs> They're so cute. <gasps> I know, we could pick 20 ripe blueberries. Will you count with me? Cool. So we have one, Hmm. Oh, here's another one. Two. Ooh, there's one down here. Three. Four. Almost there. 17. 18. 19. 20. 20 ripe blueberries. Thanks for counting with me. See, you can pick them off of the bush or you can pick them up off the ground as long as they're nice, blue, and ripe. <laughs> oh. This is gonna be really good in my blueberry lemonade. You can do all sorts of things with blueberries. What do you like to do with blueberries? You could make jam or jelly for a blueberry and peanut butter sandwich, or you can make a smoothie, blueberry pancakes, cupcakes, parfaits, juice. There's so much you can do with blueberries. <sighs> Should we keep looking at blueberries? All right, cool. Let's go over there, there's more. blueberry shrub. See, it's much smaller than the other plants we saw, but one day it's gonna grow nice and big and full and have a ton of blueberries on it. You'll notice on the young plants, they have little flowers, see? <laughs> so cute. Oh, I see another ripe blueberry. Here, take a look. See how it kind of looks white on the outside? That's called bloom. And bloom is like a sunblock for blueberries. It protects it against the sun so the blueberries don't get too much sun. <gasps> Check it out, a really big yellow slide. Oh, I have to go down. You put my blueberries down so I don't spill any and I'm nice and safe. Come on. Whoa, I get it. You use the potato sack to go down the slide. See, you put your feet in here in the bottom, get situated, and then you woo, woo, woo. <laughs> oh, look at this. You must be this tall to ride alone. All others must ride with an adult. All right, let's see. Uh, I 
think I'm tall enough to ride alone. <laughs> Let's check it out. Hey, <gasps> whoa, it's really high up. This is quite the climb. This slide is going to be awesome. Look how high we are. You can see the entire farm. <laughs> okay, only slide feet first. Okay, that was my plan anyway. All right, so you lay your potato sack down like this. You sit down and feet first. Feet will go in this little pocket here. <gasps> okay, do you want to watch me slide all the way down to the bottom? All right, see you there. <laughs> Three, two, one, slide! Whoa! 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 <laughs> that was so fast. That was awesome. <laughs> all right, let's put this over here. And <gasps> my blueberries. Oh, there they are. All right, come on, blueberries. And you come too. There's more fun things to do. Oh, check it out. It's a carousel. Have you ever been on a carousel before? <laughs> well, let's go. Blueberries down and go for a ride. Hmm. Oh, I love this horse. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this yellow hair. Oh, one of my favorite colors. All right, I'm ready, horse. Let's go. <laughs> Me on the other side. Wait till it gets to a complete stop before you get off the horse. That's the safest thing to do. And we're stop. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's see what else we can find here. Wow, this is a huge jumping pillow. <laughs> Come on, let's see. Whoa, super bouncy. Whoa, this is so fun. Can you imagine if this was really a pillow? Oh, good night. Oh, oh. <laughs> let's see, what can I do on here? Whoa, I can do one of my all time favorite things, a cartwheel. Ready? Woohoo! Oh, I can also do a round off. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, you can jump with me. What's one of your favorite jumps? You could do this. Woohoo! You could do it on the other side. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited to make blueberry lemonade. I already made a lot of lemonade right here. To make lemonade, you need lemons and you need sugar to make it sweet because lemons are pretty sour and you need some water. But I think we need one more lemon to go into this lemonade. So let me cut one here. I'll show you how you get the juice out. And remember, only grown-ups should be using knives. Okay, so cut this in half like that and this is a juicer. So we're gonna add that to the picture that I already made before. Yum! Okay, and my favorite part we have some juice 
from the blueberries that you helped me pick earlier. We washed the blueberries and we juiced them and now I have some yummy blueberry juice to add to this lemonade. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that such a pretty color? All right. Now we'll take a spoon and stir it up. Mmm, smells sweet and fruity. Hey, okay, think that's pretty good. And I have a cup here so I can taste it. I have to make sure it tastes good. All right, whoops. <laughs> and, oh, I should add some extra blueberries to make it really special. Mmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's really, really tasty. Oh, I love blueberries so much. Okay, so I picked blueberries. I made blueberry lemonade. What's the other thing that I wanted to do? <gasps> Find sunflowers, that's right. I wonder if there are sunflowers around here. I have these binoculars. They'll help me look a little closer. Let's see. Get a closer look. Come on. I found the sunflowers. Oh, there's a really big one down here. Wow, it's so pretty. See, the inside looks like the sun and the petals all around look like sun rays. Isn't that cool? Like a big, beautiful sunshine. And speaking of sunshine, did you know that sunflowers are attracted to the sun? So if the sun is shining over here, a sunflower will look like this. <laughs> and if the sun is shining over there, the sunflower will look like this. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, they're so beautiful. So I think we did everything that we planned. Let's see. We picked blueberries. We made blueberry lemonade, and we found sunflowers. We did it. Thank you for your help. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time. Bye. It's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Lang Foundation in Los Angeles, California. And here, you can adopt a dog or a cat, and then they can be part of your family. Oh, there's a dog right there. Oh, hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, Megan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, this is Willow. Oh, hi, Willow. Oh, it's always important to ask before you pet an animal. Uh, can I pet Willow? Yes, you can. Okay. So just Crouch down so you're on her level uh -huh. and put your fist out so she can hey. smell you. Willow, Willow. Oh, what do you think? Aww. <laughs> so sweet. Well, are there more animals inside? There are. Oh, let's go check them out. So what is this little one's name? This is Sprout. <gasps> Sprout, what a cute name. Hi, Sprout. I have some treats for Sprout. Sprout allowed to have a treat? Yes, he okay. is. See, you want a treat? You think Sprout likes treats? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Can we bring Sprout down to the ground and yeah. see if Sprout will want to play with us? Oh, Whoa, cool squeaky toy. It's a pink snake. <laughs> so once someone adopts an animal, what do they need to take care of the animal? Yeah, so for dogs, they need a leash, a collar, a harness, um, food, bowls, uh, and a lot of toys. Whoa! Food, bowls, toys. It's a lot of work to take care of an animal. It they is. need a lot of things. Oh, and is it different for cats? Yeah, so cats would need um, also food, bowls, uh, litter box, litter. 
Um, some good things to scratch on. Oh yeah, cats love to scratch. And a safe <laughs> carrier in case you need to take them to the vet. Oh wow. So you get a lot of things once you adopt an animal here. Yes, yes, we give people some of the food that they've been eating, um, some toys. And where do you get all of these toys? They have so many fun things to play with here. We get a lot of it donated. Oh, people yeah? People have extra supplies, they donate them to us, and yeah, it's a big help for us. Whoa, what a great idea to donate toys for these dogs and cats to play with. <laughs> oh, what's this toy? Where did these animals come from? So we rescue these animals from city shelters. Uh, basically, the shelters are crowded with animals, so we take them and find them new homes. Oh, that's really nice. And if someone wants to adopt an animal, what do they do? So we would have them come in and meet some of the animals. They'd fill out an application, and we would help them find the right animal that matches their family. Wow, that's awesome! It's so fun to play with cats and dogs, but it's also important to remember you have to take very special care of them. Whoa, come look at this dog. Whoa, what kind of dog is this? This is an American Bully Mix. American Bully Mix, whoa. This is a bigger dog, Oh, And she's so loving, what's her name? Uh, her name is Lady. Hi, Lady. Aww, so, so sweet. What's this? A blue, oh, like a little mouse with a super long tail. <laughs> Aww, this dog is so cool. Ooh, and I love the purple leash. One of my favorite colors. Love your leash. Oh, and what's on her belly here? Yeah, so she's definitely had a litter of puppies. Wow, a litter of puppies? That's so cool. How many puppies do you know? Um, I don't, but I think they can have up to 10 puppies. Whoa, that's a lot of puppies. Wow. Oh, well, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for playing with us. Louise is ready for her bandage change. Okay, great. Aww. Hi. So what room is this? So this is our medical treatment area. Oh, a medical treatment area. So this is where animals go to be taken care of if they're sick or they have, maybe they hurt themselves. What's wrong with her leg? So we rescued her with a broken leg. Aww. And yeah, now she has a cast on and she's healing. Oh, good. That must mean she's feeling better. She definitely is. Yeah, I can hear some purring in there. She's purring really loud. Yeah, cats purr when they're in a great mood, right? Aw, and why is she wearing a big yellow flower? She looks super cute, and yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so that's an e-collar, and it keeps her from taking her bandage off. Oh, that's so smart, and super cute. <laughs> Are there other cats that we can see? There are. Oh, let's go see some more cats. Feel better. Cool. Welcome to the catio. Get it? Cat? Catio? It's the catio. <laughs> now they said that there are a lot of cats in here. Hmm. Will you help me find them? <laughs> awesome. Okay. Whoa. Look at all this. It kind of looks like something you would see at a playground. The cats can climb up here and they can scratch. <laughs> Come over here. Shh. I see a cat. Can you see it? Oh, it's sleeping. We found our first cat. Good job. Hmm. Oh, there's another cat over here. You see it? Hi, cat. That cat looks really soft. <laughs> and there's another cat. Hi, kitty. Wow, so we found one, two, three cats so far. Wow. Hmm. Do you see any other cats? <gasps> 
come down here all the way to the floor. There are two cats in there. They're cuddling. I wonder if they're best friends. Oh. Hi. They're so cute. So we have one, two, three, four, five cats so far. I wonder if there's any more. Oh wow, there's some water and some food in here. They take really good care of their cats. Hmm. Oh, look down here at these little boxes. I see some blankets in here so the cats can be nice and comfy cozy. Oh, and look, it's a cutout of a cat face. That's cool. I don't see any cats though, do you? Hmm. Oh, I see one right here. Oh my goodness. Shh. This cat is taking a cat nap. Whoa, it looks really comfortable. I wonder if cats have dreams. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six cats. We found six cats. Thanks for finding cats with me. I wonder what else is here. Come on. Check it out. I'm in a cat room. This is where all the cats are hanging out, relaxing like this one. Whoa, hi, I'm Mika. This room is so cool. There's a tree in here. Whoa, I bet the cats like to scratch on the tree. Maybe they scratch their back on there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and cool thing is to climb on. Look, a little cat toy, a little mouse. <laughs> what else is over here? Whoa, do you know what this is? This long yellow tube? The cats can climb up here and then climb through the tube. Maybe you've done something like that at a playground before. They must have so much fun here. And in each little cubby is where the cat can go and have a little nap. Any cats in here? Oh, there's a cat in there. I didn't even know that. Hi. There's two cats in there. I don't know if you can see. There's two cats just hanging out. Oh, a teddy bear. I wonder if cats like to cuddle with stuffed animals. That's so sweet. Aw. Well, I have a cat toy. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Let's see if some of these cats want to play with it, okay? Um, <laughs> anyone want to play with me today? What about you? <laughs> this cat's like, Please don't bother me, I'm trying to take a nap right now. Okay, understood, understood, okay. Hey look, there's big bowls of water here because it's important for cats to hydrate, just like us. Hey, something else that they can climb on. And look, these little holes, these little hidey holes that they can just get all comfy. Cats seem to nap a lot. <laughs> hey, Megan. Hey. <gasps> Oh my goodness, who Come is this? One more friend for you to see. This oh is Memphis. Oh my gosh, can I hold Memphis? Yes. Oh, look at this little kitten. How old is Memphis? She's eight weeks. Eight weeks? Just a little baby kitten. Wow, Memphis is brand new to the world. Oh, wait, is Memphis from Memphis? Um, I don't think so. I don't know how we got the name Memphis. Aww, it's a super cute name. So Memphis is only eight weeks old. What does Memphis usually do? Um, he plays with his two brothers. <gasps> you have two yeah, brothers? Yeah, two brothers. Oh, that's so fun. Wow, baby kittens are so teeny tiny. Aww, that's so nice meeting you, Memphis. Oh my goodness. You do such a good job taking care of all of these animals. Aw, thank you. Aw. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me hang out with you, Memphis. <laughs> that was so fun. Getting
getting to hang out with dogs and cats today. We learned about how to take care of our pets and adopt them and make them part of our family. Oh, cats and dogs are so cool. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika, <laughs> well, thanks for learning with me. See you next time, bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika, and look where I'm at. I'm at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. And this is an amazing place where I can jump and play and move my body and probably do even more cartwheels. Let's learn how to do some gymnastics. Come on. Wow, check it out. We are in a gymnastics gym. This is a place where you can practice your gymnastics moves and climb and stretch and jump. Whoa, look at this. It looks like a giant crayon. Do you know what color this is? The color green. <laughs> Let's see. Woo, these look like some fun shapes. This is a triangle. Ooh, and this is also green. And look at the side here. I see another triangle and it's yellow. Oh, and look, there's some blue. <gasps> Do you know what shape this is? Yeah, it's a rectangle and it's red. Wow, whoa, this half circle kind of looks like a rainbow. And it's yellow on the side, one of my favorite colors. <laughs> oh, look at this little green circle. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> wow, two more giant crayons. Green and orange. Wow, it's so neat. I wonder what they're for. Oh, look at this big circle. Reminds me of a big donut. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wow. Wait a second. I get it. It's an obstacle course. But we will need to practice and move our bodies and warm up to do an obstacle course like this. Gymnasts need to warm up and be really flexible so that they can move their bodies easily and not get hurt. <laughs> I see a gymnast over there. Let's go say hi. 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 <laughs> I'm Coach Kelsey. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Do you work here? I do. I coach preschool gymnastics here. Whoa, a gymnastics coach? That means she knows a lot about gymnastics. <laughs> Would you like to get a lesson today? Yes, please. All right, let's do it. Awesome. Come on, let's go. Yes, I'm so excited to learn today. I'm excited to teach you. Now we gotta get ready, so we have to make sure that nothing's in the way. Oh. Do you think you can take off your bag? <laughs> yeah, good idea. All right, <laughs> all right. We're gonna warm up our body so we feel good to get ready for gymnastics. Okay, I can't wait. Do you think you can run like a tiger, fast like a tiger? Oh yeah, I know what a tiger is. Can you be fast like a tiger too? Hurrah! Hurrah! Here we go! Whoa! <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you. All right, we're gonna jump now like a kangaroo. Oh, okay, jump like a kangaroo. Whoa, this is fun. Nice, okay, can you guess what I am? Roar! Whoa, on all fours and growling. Are you a bear? I am a bear. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, let's see. Roar! Awesome, let's turn around. Whoa. Nice job. <laughs> All right, we're pretty warmed up. Let's get to stretching. Okay. All right, we're gonna be really, really big. Whoa. Big like a hippopotamus. <laughs> you're more flexible than me because you're a rail gymnast. I've been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> this is our straddle shape. Okay. Can you try to like a trunk? Can you move your hands like this? Oh, like an elephant. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put our feet together. 
Get nice and small. This is our squat. All right, we're gonna go one, two, three, and pop down. One, two, three. This is our pike. Raise up high. Okay. And touch your toes. Whoa. Oh, nice. It feels really good to stretch. And you can go a little bit further. Nice shape. All right, we're gonna get into our tuck. Okay. All right, hug it like a teddy bear. Get a little rock and roll. When I count to three, we'll do another blast, okay? Ooh, a blast, okay. One, two, three, blast. Blast. There's our pie. Nice. All right, let's get our hands behind us. Okay. We're gonna bend our knees, and we're gonna push up our belly. You feeling flexible? Yeah. This is our tabletop. Oh yeah, it's like I'm a little coffee table. Yeah, can you wave? Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's do one more shape. This is our hollow. Hollow? Hollow. <laughs> and you point your gymnastics toes. Boy, it tastes so hard. And then you turn it right into our arch shape, like a seal. Our back is an arch. Oh, that feels good. Ar, ar, ar. All right, we're pretty, we're pretty um, stretched out. Yeah, you ready I for our we're lesson good. now? Yeah. All right, let's have gymnastics hands oh. on. And let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> All right, we got our wall here. We're gonna do some handstands. Handstands on a wall? On a wall, so oh. we can be upside down. Whoa, it's really fun to be upside down. <laughs> like a monkey, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My little guys, we call these wall walkers. Okay. Did you bring your muscles today? <laughs> oh, I right. did. We gotta push the ground and we gotta stay off our head. Okay. So we're gonna hold ourselves up and we're gonna walk the wall as far as you can. Whoa. Right. <laughs> Let's count to three. Okay. One, two, two three. three. Safely put your feet down. You did Whoa, it! That was fun! All right, let's learn another handstand. Okay. So we're gonna learn our lunge shape, one Good. foot in front a little bit, and we're going to kind of raise our hands, lift our tail, like okay. an animal tail. We reach, 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 and here comes your pop! Whoa, okay. Pop! Oh, there it is! I, know, I did it! <laughs> Good handstand! Thank you! And don't forget to say ta da! Oh, ta da! I love it. Okay, in gymnastics, we use a springboard, so we have to learn how to run fast. A springboard? What's that? It helps you jump. So at the end of this, I'm gonna show you how we just jump really big and reach up high. Okay, yeah, show me. <laughs> All right, here's our tigers. Okay. So we to run fast. We wanna jump and reach up high. Whoa, that looks so fun. Your turn. Okay, ready? <laughs> run on the tiger. Jump. Oh, Ta-da! That was fast. <laughs> Thank you. That was really cool. Do you know what animal this is? Oh yeah, that's an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. cute. Good job. Okay, elephants like to march. So oh. we're gonna march, march, march. And we're ready to do a cartwheel. Oh, on a block? Yeah, do you see the hands? Yeah, that must be where I would put my hands. Yeah, so what I do is I start that lunge again. Uh -huh. I kind of pat my foot because that's the one I want to reach for. Okay. And then we're going to be like a big old, big old wings, like, like a bird. Wow. So fly over. Oh, did you see that? Cartwheels are my favorite. I do them all the time. <laughs> but this is the first time I've done one on a block before. There you go. Here we go. Whoa, that was awesome. Nice cartwheel. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you did some stuff on the floor. Mm -hmm. In gymnastics, we also do stuff on bars. So let's go check out the bars. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna climb up here. Wow. I'm gonna get super tall like a giraffe. I'm gonna swing. This is called casting. Casting. And once I'm ready, I'm gonna tuck my chin, turn my hands like a motorcycle, and roll. <gasps> Just Whoa, like that. Did you see that? She did a flip around the bar. Oh, okay. I want to try I think now. You're ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I climb up on the bars like this, and then I hold myself up, and whoo, I'm casting. Whoo. You're doing good. <laughs> okay, now what? You're gonna tuck your chin. You're gonna turn your hands okay. like a motorcycle and okay. roll. Whoa. Nice, you went upside down. I did. I did the flip around the bar too. <laughs> so we've done bars, we did some gymnastics on the floor. 
How about jumping on a trampoline? <gasps> yes, I love jumping on a trampoline. All right, let's do it. All right, come on. Whoa. <laughs> wow, this is a really long trampoline. Yeah, we're gonna jump on it. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna jump over something. Ooh, over what? We call them fries. Fries, I love eating fries. <laughs> All right. We got yellow. Oh. Blue. Oh. And orange. They do look like fries. Look, it's like a giant fry. Ooh. Yum. <laughs> okay. All right, let's reach up like you're getting the bananas. Okay. And jump over the fries. And I want you to make sure you stop at the end so you can control your body. Okay, All ready? Right, go for it. Here we go. One, two, three. Good stop. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you'll just come back on the red. Hey. Okay. All right, that was a great jump. I'm gonna move these fries out of the way now. All right. Ooh, I wonder what's next. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be like an alligator, a chomping alligator. Oh, an alligator like this? Chomp, chomp. chomp. We gotta go big. Say straddle. Okay, straddle. Ooh. Nice. And the more you practice, you can get bigger and bigger at those straddles. Oh, gotcha. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna jump all the way down and make sure you stop. Okay. And come back on the red. So my arms will chomp this way for an alligator chomp? Yeah, reach up high and then our legs will be open shut. Whoa. Okay, here I go. Ready? Jump. 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 So we did some cartwheels, some handstands, some jumping. So I think you're ready to do the obstacle course. Really? Yeah, I added a few more things for you to try, but it'll oh, be a lot of fun. Oh, cool. Well, thank you so much for teaching me gymnastics today. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I'll see you nice next time. You. <laughs> Bye. Bye, nice meeting you. Yes, I can't believe she said I'm ready to do the obstacle course all by myself. Oh, and I wonder what surprises she put in there for me. All right, first things first, balance. Whoa. <gasps> hey, I remember that block. We used that block when we practiced our cartwheels. Okay, ready? <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> oh, and I can do a somersault down this triangle. I know how to do those. <laughs> Back at the half circle, climb over. <gasps> In the green circle, I could do a kangaroo hop. <laughs> okay, climb up and <gasps> the bar. Remember how we learned how to go on the bar? Hold ourselves up and casting, casting. <gasps> then I can go under and bear walk. <laughs> okay, and more balancing. I got this. I got this. I got this. Ta-da! <laughs> wow, I did the whole thing all by myself. Ooh, there's the tiger mat. Let's run away. I am ready to go. Wow, I had so much fun learning gymnastics today at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. We learned so many things today, like how to warm up our bodies and get flexible and strong. Ooh, it's really important that you have really good balance when you're a gymnast. Wow, we even did the bars. I've never been on bars before. Oh, and the trampoline. And then in the end, I got to do the obstacle course. Oh yeah, and I finished it all by myself. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Good job. All right. I'll see you next time. Thanks for learning with me. Bye. Whoa. It's me, Mika, and today I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Ooh, look at these blocks. They're so fun and light. They're made out of foam. And look, this one is orange, 
And oh, there's a blue one there too. And it says, welcome. <laughs> That's so nice. I'm really excited because there are trampolines here and foam pits that you can jump into. And I really wanna learn how to do a flip. I wonder if there's someone here who can teach me how to do that. Let's go find out. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Priscilla, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Sky Zone. Ooh, thank you, I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> awesome, okay, first we do need to pick out some wristbands in order to go inside the park. Ooh, I love wristbands. Hmm. So which color would you like? Oh, let's see, there's orange, green, <gasps> yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. I Mine want too, all right, here, let's go. Thank you, so official. <laughs> and now we have to pick out some socks. Okay, why do we need to put on special socks? The special socks have grip on them so that when you're on the trampoline, you don't slip. Oh, that's so smart. Hmm, let's see, we have some orange socks and ooh, some blue and black and pink socks. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with the orange. I love this color, and my best friend Blippi really loves orange. I'm gonna wear these. All right, perfect. <laughs> Thank so you. So what brings you in today? Oh, I really wanna learn how to do a flip on the trampoline. All right, perfect. We have Quincy in the park who can teach you how to do a flip. Wow, okay, let's go find Quincy. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> trampolines and this huge foam pit behind me. Wow, I've never seen so many trampolines before. Will you count them with me? Awesome, let's go. Okay, ready? One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Wow, five trampolines! Huh, I wonder where Quincy is. That's who's supposed to teach me how to do a flip. Oh, I'm so excited. Where is he though? I wonder if he's in the foam pit. Should I jump in and see? <laughs> Let's do it. Woo, wow! <laughs> Quincy! Quincy? Hmm. Quincy! I don't think anyone's in here, except me. <laughs> Whoa, it says foam zone. That's where we are in this big foam zone. Check out these blocks. Look, you see a square? When there's six squares together, that makes a cube. And these are made out of foam, so it's soft and squishy, so it feels really fun and nice to jump into a foam pit. And you don't get hurt. <laughs> Look, there's orange, blue, and black. <laughs> this is so fun. I can't wait till I learn how to do a flip. I wonder where Quincy is. Maybe he's over there. Come on, let's go look. Whoa, this is cool. But I still don't see Quincy anywhere, huh? Whoa, I know what this is. It's orange, it's round, and oh, it bounces. This is a basketball. But why would a basketball be in a trampoline park? <gasps> hey! There's a basketball hoop <laughs> and another trampoline. I bet jumping on a trampoline and throwing a basketball into the hoop is a lot easier than if you're just on a regular ground. Oh, I'm gonna try it. Okay, let's see. On three. One, two, three. Ah, didn't get it in. Oh, here's another one. It's yellow. Maybe I'll try and throw it. Words. One, two, three. Whoa. 
Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Hmm. Maybe if I do three big bounces to the hoop, that will go in. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, there's one more ball. Okay, how should I do this one? Hmm, maybe I'll do one giant bounce and a turn for finesse. <laughs> Ready? One. Oh, I still didn't get it in. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna keep looking for Quincy. I can't wait to learn how to do a flip. <sighs> Quincy! No, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go over to the other side. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> do you know what this is? This is a balance beam. It's called that because it's a beam and you have to have really good balance to stand on it. Whew. You don't want to wobble and go side to side. Did you know that there are a lot of animals who have really good balance? And mostly because of their tails. <laughs> Squirrels have really good balance because of their swooshy tails and cats, meow, meow. <laughs> and kangaroos. Yeah, kangaroos have long tails that help them balance and they're really good jumpers. <laughs> <laughs> Will you jump with me? <laughs> hey, let's jump over there. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! More trampolines! <gasps> Look how many are in here! Whoa! Wow! <gasps> that has to be Quincy! He's so good at jumping! Whoa! <laughs> I am Quincy. Hi, I'm Mika. It's nice to meet you, Mika. How nice you doing? Nice to meet you too. I'm having so much fun here. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Mika. So I heard that you are really good at flipping. You might have heard right. Oh, well, I want to learn how to flip too. Can oh, you help me? I can take good care of you. Awesome. <laughs> what do we need to do first? All right, first and foremost, we have to warm up. Oh, right. It's important to warm up our body so we don't get hurt. Exactly, Mika. Okay, so what do we need to do? So first things first, you know, we're just gonna touch the ground. Oh, okay. We're just touch, touch the, the ground. ground. Oh. You know, then we're gonna lean to the left, and then we're gonna lean it to the right. Okay. Ah. And you know, once your legs feel all good, you get some jumping jacks in. Woo! You know, you know, have some fun with it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow, it's kind of like making a snow angel in the air. Exactly. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm getting warmer and looser. Are <laughs> right, you feeling warm and loose? I think so. All right, let's see if you can do a jump twist then. Whoa, a jump twist! Okay, ready? Ooh, like okay. that? Just like that. Wow! <laughs> I got what else can we do? Well, you ever done a somersault? Yeah, have you ever done a somersault before? Okay, let's do it together. All right, you know how to do a somersault, Mika? Yeah, so what are the first steps, just first as a steps, reminder? Visualize your platform. Ooh, okay, visualize. Then you're gonna put your hands out. Okay. Oh. And fall. Okay, so hands out, and what do I do with my head? You're gonna tuck your head in like a bowling ball. Oh, tuck your head in like a bowling ball. You're gonna tuck. And then become the ball. <laughs> become the ball. Here I go. Whoa. <laughs> Just like that, Mika. That was so fun. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, ready? All right. Visualize. Visualize. Head tucked. Head tucked. And become the ball. Become the ball. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that was really fun. It was really fun. Now I got a question for you. Yeah. Think you can do it in the air? Oh, I've never tried before. You want me to show you? Yes, please. All right. But first, you're gonna get a whole lot of air. Whoa. A whole lot of air. And then, next you're gonna do, you tuck your chin again. So once you get all that air, you're gonna tuck your chin. And remember, 
Only try and do a flip if you're with a grown-up. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? He just did a front flip in the air. That was amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. How do you jump that high? Uh, <sighs> basketball helps. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Sometimes you just gotta have fun with it in the air. Hop over your leg. Wow, you're so good Meditate at jumping. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, that was so fun. But Quincy, I don't know if I'm ready to do a flip in the air like you just did. Well, you gotta keep practicing, Mika, and then you'll get it. I got it. So I have to remember to jump really high, stay in one spot, tuck my head, and go forward like a ball. Exactly, it's just like a somersault, but you're taking away the ground. Got it, thank you so much. Of course, Mika. I'm gonna take all of these things and I'm gonna practice, and then one day I'll get to do a front flip just like you, Quincy. I hope so, Mika. <laughs> thank you so much. Of course, I'm gonna go bounce now. All right, me too, see you later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun playing and bouncing at Sky Zone Trampoline Park. <laughs> I really wanted to learn how to do a flip today, and Quincy was an amazing teacher. He knows a lot about flipping and bouncing on trampolines. Oh, and it was so fun jumping into the foam pit. The foam pit was nice and soft and squishy and oh, made out of blocks like this. Wait a second. Do you know what this says? It says, Mika. <laughs> That's me, that's my name. Well, I had so much fun playing and learning with you today. If you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Awesome! M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. We'll see you next time, bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at O2B Kids in Orlando, Florida. This place is really fun. They have games, they have dance classes, and I want to learn some new dance moves. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika, I'm Trudy. Welcome to O2B Kids, the new learning playground. Oh, thank you so much. So I want to learn some new dance moves today. Mr. Christian is available for a dance lesson right now. Really? Where is it? You can head to the theater. Oh, let's go to the theater. <laughs> This is it, the theater. Oh, let's go inside. Whoa! <laughs> Amazing dance moves! Thank you. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Mr. Christian. I'm the dance teacher here. <gasps> wow, a dance teacher? Could you give me a dance lesson? Sure, but first, what moves do you want to learn? Oh, I want to learn a hip hop move, a break dance move, and a ballet move. Awesome, awesome. But first, before we do that, we have to go warm up and stretch, okay? Oh yeah, makes sense. Where do we do that? Follow me. Oh, okay. Follow Mr. Christian. Oh, I'm so excited to get started. Me too. All right, first, we're going to warm up. Oh, it's so important to warm up your body before you dance, get your muscles loose and warmed up so you don't get hurt. Absolutely. All right, so first, we're going to run in place and count to eight. Oh, yeah. You count to eight in dance because you can easily break up the sections in music when you're learning dance moves. And you don't have to count too high. Absolutely. All right, ready? Okay. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> I'm awesome. already warming up. Awesome. All right, so next thing, we're going to do our pizza stretch, okay? I love pizza. Me too. Okay? Okay. So we gotta go into our straddle. We're gonna sit on the ground. We're going to our straddle. We're okay. gonna spread our legs out. All right. You can sit on the ground too. All right. And we're going to roll our dough out. So we're roll our dough. Shh, shh. And we're going to pat, 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 pat all around. Pat, 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 pat. There you go. And then we're going to pour our sauce all around. Ooh. And then we're gonna spread our sauce. Spread our sauce. Awesome, awesome. And then we're going to sprinkle our cheese. Ooh. Ooh, and cheese. if you're dairy free, you can use dairy free cheese. Cheese with no dairy. There you go. And then we're going to put our toppings. Ooh. I'm going to put chicken on mine because I okay, love chicken. Okay, I'm going to put some mushrooms, 
And ooh, green pepper. Ooh, I'm gonna put some pineapples on ooh, there. Mm -hmm. That sounds yummy. Yeah. All right, and then we're going to put our other mittens on. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Protect yourselves. Mm hmm. And then we're going to take the pizza. We're gonna put it in the oven. So we're gonna open the oven door. Shh. Shh. Gonna put the pizza in there. Shh. Shh. We're gonna close the door. Shh. Shh. And then we're going to count to eight. Okay. Ready? We're gonna go. One, two, two three, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight. eight. Ding, 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 ding. It's ready. Fast cooking pizza. Yeah. So we're gonna take it out. Open the door. Shh. Shh. Take out the pizza. Shh. All right, ready? And three, two, one. No, 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 and count yeah. to eight. One, One two, two, three, four, four five, six, six, seven, eight. eight. Yay! Wow. I feel really good now and warmed up. Awesome. I'm well, ready to dance. You ready? Let's mm -hmm. go. Okay, come on, let's go learn some dance moves. Whoa, we are in a real dance studio. This is awesome. I can't believe you are gonna teach me hip hop moves break dance moves, and ballet moves. You know a lot about dance. What do you love most about it? There's just so many things about dance I love, but a few things that I love are that I can use one side of my mind, which is the logic side, and the other side of my mind, which is the creative side, and put them together through my movements. Also that it's a form of self-expression. Oh, yeah. So you can really express yourself through the movements. And also, it's a sense of community. It's really about love and sharing that with everyone. Oh, that's so cool. I also like to express myself through music and dance. It's such a fun way to just be yourself and let loose and have fun. Yeah. <laughs> and you especially do that in hip hop, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, well, what are the hip hop moves we're gonna learn? Okay, so our first move is our step touch, step touch. Okay. And when we do that, we're gonna count to eight, okay? Oh you yeah, ready? count to eight, I remember. All right, so first, we gotta step out with our right foot. Okay. One, and step together, two. Mm -hmm. And you step out with your left, one. Step together, two. Oh, and then repeat step, that. Yep. Touch. I get it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> step touch. Okay. So we're gonna do that a little faster. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Five, six, seven, eight. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. Good job. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> awesome. All right. So next, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay. But we're gonna add arms to make it look really cool. Whoa. You ready? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Wow, that did look yeah. cool. <laughs> awesome. All right, so after that, we're gonna do our top rock. And our top rock is a really cool move because it's their basic move for break dancing. Okay, so we are learning a basic move of break dance. So yeah. awesome. <laughs> okay, so first, you're gonna take your right arm. Okay. So right hand over, and then your left hand under. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna step out with your right foot, then your okay. heels gonna point up to the sky. And then our arms are gonna go out like you're about to give a big hug. Oh yeah, big yeah. hug. Okay, and then we're gonna repeat it to the other side. We're gonna step out with the right, we're gonna, put, we're gonna switch our hands over, left over, right under, and then we're gonna kick out with our left foot, and our toes point up at the sky again, and we're gonna make a big hug one more time. Ah, Ooh, big hug. There you go. Good job. Nice. You think we can do it a little faster? Yeah, let's try it. Right. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Oh, that's Good job. So fun. Thank yeah. you. All right. And our next move to make a little more flavor and Ooh, put our feet on it, yes. we're going to do a crisscross. You criss ready? Crisscross. What's that? Okay. So it's pretty, pretty simple. Okay. So your feet are kind of shoulder apart. Okay. And think of it like a scissor, okay? okay. You're like you're chopping paper, okay? You go, so you're gonna go cross with your right over your left. I know it's a little confusing, but we'll go through very slow, okay? okay. We're gonna go right foot, shoot, shoot, 
and we're going across. Oh, it is like yeah. scissors, like and you're cutting yeah. paper. Exactly. And then we're gonna switch it to switch feet. So you're gonna go left or right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven, eight. And switch. Yeah, there you go. Do a little faster. Okay. All right, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. All right. After that, we're gonna move into our ballet. Oh, yeah, I really love ballet. Yeah. Yeah. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our feet together. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna put our heels turned out. Okay. You see your toes or heels are kissing each other and going, okay. Mwah. Awesome. And we're gonna put our arms into our beach ball like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're gonna count, we're gonna count to eight one more time. So you're gonna go one, two, two three, four, four five, six, six, seven, eight. eight. Good job. Okay? Awesome. And that is called our plie. Oh, and that means to bend in French. There you go. So we're gonna do it just a little bit faster. Is that okay? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, one two, two, three, four, four five, six, six, seven, eight. eight. Good job. Great. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. And then to add a little more spice flavor to Love our it. ballet, uh -huh. we're gonna do some tendus, okay? Oh, and tendu means to stretch in French. There you go. So we're gonna do our tendus to the side. We're gonna start on our right side. We're gonna do it four times. And we're gonna go one with our right toe out. Uh -huh. And we're just gonna bring it in. Boop, boop. One more time. Out, boop. Bring in. Boop. Out, boop. Out. Bring in. In. Out. Out. In. In. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. And now we're gonna go to the other side, okay? Okay. So our hands are still on your hips like this. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna go out with your left foot. Out. And then bring it. And you go out. Out. And bring it. In. And you go out. Bring it. Out. Bring it. Oh, Good job. Thank you. Wow. Can we do a little faster? Yeah, let's try right. it. Ready? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay! Good job! Thank you for teaching me all of those moves. Of course, of course. Are you ready to put it all together? I think so. All right. It's going to be a little faster. It might be a little challenging, but I think we can do it. I think so too. All right. You ready? Yep. All right. We're going to start with the step touch. You ready? Yes. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Top row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Crisscross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Crisscross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Crisscross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Plie. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Time to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. After that, can we freestyle and express ourselves however we want? Absolutely. That's the point of dance. Absolutely. Oh, awesome. I think I'm ready to do a performance. <gasps> I'm so excited. I can't wait. Okay. All right. Let's do let's it. Let's do it. Let's okay. do it. You lead the way. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Introducing the wonderful, talented, and unique Mika. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hello. My name is Mika. Yeah. It's nice to meet ya. Hey. I'm quite a thinker. That's me. And I like to tinker. Come on. My name is Mika. Yeah. It's nice to meet ya. Hey. I'm quite a thinker. That's me. And I like to tinker. Come on. Well, you know. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Oh, thank you for teaching me all of those new dance moves. Of course, it's my pleasure. Oh, you're a great teacher. Oh, thanks. Well, I'll see you later. All right, thanks, Mr. Christian. You're see welcome. ya. Bye. Come on. Wow, we had so much fun today. And
and really learned a lot. We learned about warming up our bodies and staying loose when we learn new dance moves. And speaking of dance moves, we learn new hip hop moves, break dance moves, and ballet moves. And we did a great job counting to eight. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <sighs> awesome. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, we'll see you next time. Keep dancing. <laughs> It's me, Mika, and today we're at Nailed It DIY Studio in Orlando, Florida. DIY means do it yourself. And today we're gonna build and make art. Oh, I can't wait, come on. Oh, look at all of this stuff. These are all signs that people have made and that's what I get to make today. Oh, look, this box says meow. <laughs> Oh, I wonder if it's something that you could put cat treats in or cat food. Oh, and look at this one. <laughs> All guests must be approved by the dog. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh, I see some paint colors down here. Let's see how many colors they have. A lot. <laughs> oh, I wonder if they have two of my favorite colors. Do you know what they are? Oh, they're purple and yellow. And they're right next to my best friend Blippi's favorite colors, blue and orange. Ha, huh, that's cool. Wow, these are all the different wood pieces that you can use to make art. Oh, look at this one. It's pretty small. You can have a small sign that says, welcome. <laughs> Or, whoa, look at this. This giant rectangle could make a really cool sign and it could hold a lot of words. Maybe it could say something like, welcome friends, come on inside for snacks and games and good times. We love our friends, welcome. <laughs> and here's a square. One, two, three, four even sides. And there's bigger squares up there. Hmm, oh cool, a circle. A small circle and a really big circle. Hmm, which one should I choose? Uh, I think I like this one, the medium stack square. That's number 07. We have to remember that, 07. Okay, come on. Oh. Hi, Margie. Oh, hi, Mika. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm excited to make art today. Awesome. So did you pick a size? Yes, number 07. Perfect. And did you want to add anything to that? Oh, um, oh, maybe that silver hook right there. Okay. Oh, and can I also have that bow tie? For my best friend. <laughs> Absolutely. So we have your station set up over here. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay, we have everything we need. We have lots of cool paint, two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Oh, well, this one's called dandelion. Fancy. And we have pearl and latte. We also have a paint roller. Easily put on the paint. And we have some sponges. We have silver hooks. And we have our crown stapler, our power stapler, and the stacked wood piece that I picked out. See, it's actually four little pieces. And when they're stacked together, it makes one beautiful square. <laughs> and what are these for? So these are actually to hold the wood stacked pieces together. Oh, okay, makes sense. So what's the first thing we need to do? So your first step is to put a line of glue on each one and then flip them over. Okay, I think I can do that. Okay. Now what? So we have these lines here and those oh, yeah. are actually where you are going to put the staples. Oh, so these lines, it's like a little guide. 
Exactly. So first we are gonna put our safety glasses oh, on. Oh, right. If we're gonna use a power tool, we need to be nice and safe. And remember, only use a power stapler if you are with a grown-up. Whoa, you're really good at that. <laughs> Think you can do that? Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna follow the black lines. That's my guide. All right, good teamwork. You are a pro. Oh, you did thank good. you. <laughs> All right, so oh. now you're gonna flip it over. <gasps> and there you have it. Look at this perfect square. What's the next step? So the next step is we're gonna take it to the sanding station where you're gonna make it smooth. Ooh, let's make it smooth. <laughs> Come on. So this is the sander. Okay. What you're gonna do is put one hand here, one hand under here. Mm -hmm. There is a power button that you wanna push. Okay. Once it's on, you are gonna run it over the whole thing until it's as smooth as a piece of paper. Oh, all right. Well, why do you want it super smooth? It helps the paint stick to the wood. Oh, okay, so let's make this super smooth. Time to sand. So we are going to choose your base color. So we're gonna look at oh. your stencil. <gasps> yes, I can't wait to see. All right, so this is the stencil we have for you. Wow, look at this. An ice cream cone, one of my favorite sweet treats. And oh, that's my name and my headband. Oh, and this is gonna be my bag. And this other stencil will help make it really look like my bag. Oh, I love it. Okay, so for the base, um, I'm thinking purple. Yes, yeah. that is a good color. Okay, so I can just put it everywhere? Yep, so you're just gonna squeeze that over the top of the wood. Okay. Okay, and I get to use this really fun paint roller to spread it all over the wood. So you're gonna paint the top and then all of the sides. All right, now we just wait for it to dry? Actually, we have a way to dry it quicker. Oh, how? So we are going to use this blow dryer. <laughs> You've probably seen a blow dryer before. It's to dry your hair. So there is that. You are gonna blow dry it on the base setting. Okay. <laughs> cool. Is it ready? Ready to go. Okay, turn it to base. And let's dry! Okay, you're dry. What? Okay, now what? Oh, it is dry. Cool. So now what you wanna do is sand it until it's smooth again so that we can put the stencil on. Okay. This time I'm gonna give you a piece of sandpaper as well so you can sand over the top of it. Nice. Oh, cool! It's purple sandpaper and it's really rough. But this rough piece of paper will make this smooth. Hey, those are opposites, rough and smooth. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Bobby pin. <laughs> All right, like this. So you're gonna go back and forth over the whole thing, just like that. Yes, perfect. Okay. All right, so your board is nice and smooth. We are ready for the stencil. Yes, all, all right. right. So the stencil has a couple of layers. We are going to peel the white layer off first. Oh, it's like a giant sticker. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna hand you one side. Okay. And we are gonna center it on your board together. I think that looks good. What do you think? I think it's pretty good, yeah. Okay. So we're just gonna stick this on. Okay. I'm gonna give you a squeegee. A squeegee? Yes. I know what that is. This is your squeegee. Yeah. What you want to do is run it over the whole thing. And you see how it turns a little bit darker? Mm-hmm. That's how you know it's really stuck to the wood. Cool. And this is going to push all the bubbles yeah. out. Yes. Okay. 
Bye, Bubbles. <laughs> so now that it's all stuck to the wood, what I want you to do is peel this top layer off. Okay. We're actually gonna start from over here. Ah. And pull down towards you, slow and low. Slow and low, my favorite way to go. Oh wait, oh, come on, sticker. Well, I did it. <laughs> wow. That looks cool already. <laughs> all right, so now we're ready to paint. Yes, all right. So, hmm, I'm gonna start with the ice cream cone and I'm going to use pearl. That way it would look like vanilla, one of my favorite flavors. So what you wanna do is dip the wide end of the sponge, that end of the sponge, into the paint. Okay. Take a look at it. Does it look wet? Yep. That's too much paint. Oh no. So what you wanna do is dab it off and you can use the paper or you can use the plate. Okay, I'll dab on the plate there. All right, look at it now. Does it look wet? Nope. You're good to go. So now you're gonna just dab up and down. Okay. For the whole thing. Like this. And is it okay if it gets on the blue part? Yes, it is. Okay. It's a stencil, so that part is gonna come off. All right. So let's cover this ice cream cone. Okie doke. Perfect, so now you can pour your next color for the cone. Ooh, and the cone, I'm going to make that a latte. You look like a sugar cone. I'm gonna be careful because I don't want it to get on the top of the ice cream cone. But even if it does, we can always fix it. Oh, you know what? I like your attitude, Margie. Okay, that cone's looking pretty tasty. Yes, it is. All right. So what color did you want to paint your name? Oh, my name, I want it to be yellow. Yes, I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and pour the yellow. Okay. So yellow there, wide end, dab, dab, dab. You got it. Oh yeah, now I'm feeling like a pro over here. Let's see, my headband is yellow. So I'll just use the same yellow. <gasps> Margie! What happened? I need two more colors for my bag. You're right. Do you know what colors are on my bag? Yep, blue and orange. All right, so go ahead and pick the blue and orange that you want. Okay. Down there. Oh. This is good, and oh, this. Ooh. Yeah, this will look cool. Okay, do we need the other stencil yet or no? Not yet. So okay. what we're gonna do with this is once we peel this up, we'll put this one on so it really makes it look like your back. Awesome. So I should start with this one, I think. Dab, 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 and get the whole bag. Perfect. All right, so take a look at it. Do you like it like that, or do you want to do another coat? Oh, uh, I think I like it like that. Perfect. So we are going to give this one good blow dry again. Okay. And then we're ready to peel. All right, let's do it. So this time you are going to blow dry on the stencil setting, and just be careful, it is powerful. We don't want everything flying away. Okay, I'll be careful. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, it is powerful. <laughs> it's dry. So now it is reveal time. Oh, okay. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. So we're gonna turn it this way because we wanna peel the stencil against the grain. Oh, okay. Do you know what wood grain is? Uh, you can explain it. Okay. <laughs> so the wood grain are the lines that you see in the Oh, wood. that's right, yeah. So if the, if the lines of the wood are going this way, mm -hmm. we wanna peel this way. Oh, gotcha, against the grain, exactly. okay. Exactly. So you're gonna start with one corner and then peel down towards you. Towards this corner or each down towards you? So. Yes. All right, let's see how it looks. Whoa. Uh-oh, there's a little piece That's stuck. That's okay, it can rip, it can tear. That's totally fine. Oop, there we go. Ooh. 
Whoa! That looks so cool! How good you did! Wow! Check it out! So now we are ready to put the other part of your bag on. Oh, that's right! We have another stencil. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna peel the backing off and we will center it together. Okay. You good? Looks good to me. Okay. All right, ready? Let's commit! Oh, we did it! <laughs> You're ready for your paint. All right, let's get the orange on there. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, do you remember what comes next? We have to dry it. Yes, okay. Okay, now what setting should I put so it on? So you're gonna be on the stencil setting. Makes sense. Here we go. It's powerful. There you go. Woo! Everything's about to fly. I know. <laughs> okay, so do you remember the wood lines? Oh yes, you wanna go against the grain. Yes. So we wanna go this way? Correct. Okay. There's my bag. <gasps> it looks so good. Oh, this is so, so cool. So now I just need two hooks because I want to be able to hang my headband and my bag. <laughs> All right, so we have the hooks right here. Okay. I'm gonna have you pick two hooks out of there. Yep, two hooks. Oop. Okay, we have one. Two. So we are going to be using a power tool again. Okay, so, so we need our safety glasses. You know it, safety first. So I will drill the little holes to get the hook started and then you'll screw the hooks in. Sounds good. Let's put this one right here. Okay. You're ready All for right. the hooks. Two holes, and here we go. So I can just twist them in, right? Correct. Almost there. There we go. <gasps> it's finished. <laughs> wow, look at the sign. I love it so much. Thank you, Margie, for all your help in helping me make this awesome Mika sign. You are so welcome. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see you around. Yeah, sounds good. We'll all see right. you next time. All right, have a good one. Thanks Bye. again. You're Bye. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wasn't that so fun making this really cool Mika sign? <laughs> Today, I got to build a sign, sand it, and paint it. Art is so much fun. <laughs> Thanks for playing with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool, oh, we can spell it right here on the sign. Ready? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time, bye. me, Mika, and today I'm at Play Day in Brooklyn, New York. Today is all about fashion and style, which I love because fashion helps you express your personality. Check out my outfit. I have two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Oh, and I love accessories like my jam pack and my watch. And because today is really sunny, I have one of my favorite accessories, sunglasses. Hello. <laughs> I feel so cool in my sunglasses. And I heard I get to put more things on my outfit inside. Come with me. Hi, I'm Mika, what's your name? Hi Mika, nice to meet you. My name is Laura. Welcome to Play Day. Oh, thank you. What kind of things can I do here? Oh, we have so many awesome classes. You can do painting, sculpture, cartooning, architecture, and fashion design. <gasps> fashion design, that's what I'm interested in. I wanna add some things to my outfit. 
Great. So the first thing we can do is start with a mood board. Have you ever made a mood board? Yeah, I've made a mood board before. A mood board is a board of pictures and colors and words that inspire you. Okay, great. So let's get started. Follow right, me. Come on. Wow, this is a big board. Well, Mika, this is your mood board and here are all the materials that you can use. And here is your apron. <gasps> Thank you so much. So have fun and I'll come check on you in a bit. Okay, thanks. See you soon. Whoop. Oh, I'm so excited to make this mood board. Okay, let's see what we have. <gasps> Whoa, look at all of these colorful balls. Ooh, those are really fun. <gasps> There's some paint. Hmm, what should I start with? Oh, I'm gonna start with purple, one of my favorite colors. Hello again. Hey, what do you think? It looks great. Can you tell me a little about what you made? Sure, I'd love to. So I put the word confident on here because confident is the feeling I feel when I wear this outfit. And I have music notes because I love to sing and dance. And I have a big purple M because M is the first letter of my name, Mika. And it's purple, one of my favorite colors. I think we're ready for our next step. I think we have enough inspiration, so we should do a sketch now. Oh, a sketch. I know what that is because I'm such a planner. Fashion designers will use a sketch to help them plan what they want to make. Okay, so let's go. Follow All right, me. come on. Wow, this is cool. So one way to make a sketch is by tracing your body on the chalkboard. And then based on your mood board, you can add all the elements that you want to put on your garment. Wow, what a good idea. Okay, Mika, can you please lean against the chalkboard? Oh yeah. Thank you. All right. Yeah, for fashion designers, it's super helpful to plan and sketch out a idea or design before you make something. Ooh. <laughs> All right, how's it looking? I can't wait to see. Okay, Mika. Ready? Yes. All right. <gasps> yes, I love it. I'm feeling inspired already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you can add the elements to your design and I will meet you at the sewing station. Okay, see you there. Bye. Thank you. Okay, so First, I think I'm gonna draw the outfit I'm wearing right now. So, what am I wearing? What do you see? Yeah, my purple t-shirt. So, let me find some purple here. Whoa, look how big this chalk is. It looks like a potato. <laughs> All right, so let's see. T-shirt, short sleeves. Okay, that. All right, I'm gonna color it in. And do you notice anything else on my purple shirt? Yeah, I have some yellow on there. Whoa, look at this piece of chalk. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do some yellow here on the sleeves. And yellow here. And where else is there yellow? Up here? around my neck there, some yellow, and I have a yellow pocket. <laughs> right side. Ooh. Okay, what else do I have? Purple shirt and <gasps> my jeans. Okay, I'll use the color blue. All right, and you can see a little bit of my ankle, so I'm gonna Cut them down here so I have room for my shoes. I'm gonna color them in blue. Okay. Blue jeans, my purple shirt, and oh, my accessories. I have a compass watch that's purple and yellow. So I'm gonna use this purple again. And 
yellow on it too. Oh, I'm feeling like such a little designer. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can copy it. There's a little yellow there. There's a little yellow there. And the rest is purple. And there's a white circle in the middle. Can you see it? It's really tiny. Okay, that. And then check out my bracelets. There's blue, yellow, purple, orange. Wow, that's a lot of different colors. So we get some purple on there, blue, and ooh, a little orange. Okay, and yellow. Awesome, and oh, speaking of yellow, I have a yellow bow in my hair. I should draw my hair. It's brown and curly. Can't really tell what color this is. Let's find out. Ooh, look at those curls. Go on, Mika. Woo. Okay, okay. And then I'll put my yellow ribbon here. Mika. You look amazing. All right, and I have some white and purple and yellow ugh, shoes. Okay. Whoa. Okay, some shoes. And hmm, I feel like something is missing. I have my bow, my shirt, my jeans. My accessories. <gasps> my jam pack! Oh, I forgot my super fun jam pack. Okay, let's see. I need blue and orange. And there's a white circle in the middle. <laughs> Just like my compass watch. Okay, so I need orange and blue. And I'll use this black to draw the strap. And then the big circle. Okay, so there's blue on top. And blue on the bottom. These two are orange. And there's the white button in the middle. Okay, yes, she's looking great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I want to add something, I think, to my shirt. There was something on my mood board that got me really excited. Do you know what it is? It's the letter M for Mika. I think it would look so cool if there was a purple letter M right there on my pocket. So let's see if I'm right. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. Yes, yes, that's what I want. The letter M sewn onto my shirt. That way, my outfit will look super complete. And I think I'll just add some little bedazzle here in my bag for fun. And I forgot my face. <laughs> All right, let's see eyes and nose and a giant smile. Twins. <laughs> All right, let's go over to the sewing station so I can get my M put on my shirt. Come on. Hey! Hi, Mika. I'm so excited to be at the sewing station. Welcome. I have the sewing kit ready for you. <gasps> Did you decide what to do with your design? Yes, I'm so excited. I want to add a purple M to my shirt. That's great. So I'm going to give you another shirt so you can change. Oh, cool. All right, thanks. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hi, Mika. Hi, thank you for the shirt. You're welcome. <laughs> so I have my shirt here ready for the letter M. That's great. So first thing we're gonna do is talk about the materials that we oh, will be using. Yeah, there's a lot here. So for sewing, we use needles, mm -hmm. plastic needles for kids, and sharp needles for adults. Whoa. So make sure that you have a grown up with you when you're using those sharp needles. Yeah, good idea. We also use thread and scissors. Oh, so needles, thread, and scissors. Got it. Perfect. So to Thread the needle. We're going to pass the yarn or thread through the eye of the needle. Oh, oh I bet the eye is right here on top. That is correct. See that opening? Ooh, that <laughs> looks kind of difficult. 
So don't worry, I have a trick for it. Okay. You can fold your yarn mm -hmm. so that way it's easier to pass through the needle. Oh, smart. Okay. Perfect. So next, you're going to choose the color that you're going to use. Hmm. There are a lot of great colors. Oh, I think I want to use orange. I love this color. <laughs> Perfect. So now we're going to cut the thread. Okay. To measure, you hold it with your fingertips. Where's the end? Where there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and then pull it to your elbow. Okay. Ooh. And that's a perfect size to start. Nice. You want to cut it? Yes. Team work. Perfect. Love it. So now we're going to make a knot on one of the ends of our thread. Okay, you make a knot here. Yes, perfect. And we're going to call that the tail. Ooh. Got a little tail. And now you can thread your needle. Okay, should I try your trick? Yes. Okay, just like the professionals do it. <laughs> I'm gonna be very careful because the end of this needle is sharp. <laughs> so close. Oh, oh, oh. That's fine. I can do it for you. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really tricky to do. Yes. It's okay. It takes practice. I have to practice more. All right. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for your help. You're welcome. So now you can start sewing. Another tip is that you hold both the needle and the thread when you're stitching. Oh. That way the thread will stay in the needle. Got it. Okay. Oh, I don't have the letter M. <laughs> no worries. I have it ready for you right here. <gasps> wow. It's exactly what I had in mind. Look, it's purple, one of my favorite colors. Oh, thank you so much for making this. You're welcome. Okay, so... I think I want it to look like this. Hold it up so you can see it. What do you think? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So cute. Okay. So, hold both the needle and the thread. And I'm gonna watch my fingers here because it's really sharp. And just poke a hole. And then pull the needle through, right? Yes. Okay. Make sure you pass all the thread through. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Good job. I did it. My first stitch. <laughs> okay, and then go back through. Yes. Okay. Jeez, it's harder than it looks. <laughs> Hi. Okay, look, it's starting to stay on the shirt. Good job. Now you secure your M. Okay. Thank and you. You can add a few more stitches. Okay. Okay, maybe I'll do one here. Okay. The final stitch. All right, now what do I do? Well, now we can cut the excess thread. Okay. I can help you. Thank you. I can take the needle. Oh, thank you. Be careful. Yes. All right. I can't believe I just did that all by myself. Great job, Mika. Thank you. What do you think? I love it. Oh, thank you so much for helping me today. You're welcome. I hope you had a good time and keep practicing everything you learned today. I will, thank you. Okay, thank you, Mika. See you Bye. later. Bye. Okay, I can't wait to put this on. See you soon. Check it out. The letter M is on my shirt and I think it looks really good. I love it. Now my outfit is complete. Oh, and I have one more thing for fun. For my jam pack. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I had such a fun day. I got to make a mood board, a sketch, and I sewed my very own M on my shirt. This was so cool. And what's cool about fashion and style is you can express yourself through your clothes and accessories. <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right. I'll see you later. Come on, everyone. Let's make a learning fun. Mika, Mika. So much
much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Mika! Mika!